All right. Uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a fun video. Um, going to be flying uh, an ILS approach into Wellington. Uh, it's not any regular uh, old ILS approach, though, because uh, the weather is kind of crazy. Um, having winds gusting up to 38 knots and winds from from the north, uh, 27 gusting 38 knots. Um, uh, already, I can feel that you know keeping up on the profile. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a challenge if you just lose the glide. So we're gonna prepare early, um, and we're gonna be doing a flap full landing into Wellington because uh, although the runway is short, uh, the runway is short, and although the winds are gusty, a uh, flap three might not exactly be ideal for this kind of situation. So, um, I've had the uh, numbers already set up here. Just gonna exit dev mode for now. Just was there using that using that to monitor my frames. Uh, gonna get all the way down to 3,000. Uh, our final approach fix is uh, 2,000 feet. So I'm just gonna actually just go all the way down to 2,000. Set that on the system uh, here on the MCP. Uh, lights are all set up the way I want to. So, there you go, get some floodlight action on. Approach mode is on. See if I can get that speed down a little bit early. Not even sure if I need this much floodlight though. Although I like fiddling with them a lot, it's like not a good idea. Direct to Umaga. Lap one. About eight miles. I definitely need some floodlights. Yeah, my initial guess was right. It's not as bright as I thought it would be. Getting a crosswind component of 44 knots once we turn, so that's kind of crazy. Gonna slow down right now. Gonna get that speed down real quick. Flap 
Flaps 2. Gonna get the localizer. Glide slope. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this glide slope warning. Don't want that disturbing my approach, so I'll be leaving that as such. But now, not sure if we're uh, still within the limits. But definitely not flying this automatically. Uh, gonna be completely hand flown. Uh, that's why I have that side stick cam on to see how crazy it can get and whether I can actually land this thing. I've been able to get the landings down pretty good on uh, this airplane, finally. But uh, this is kind of an extreme situation, right? Not sure how good or bad this is gonna be. I want to be fully configured by about a thousand feet. That's my target. Fully configured and stable. Still 7 DME from uh, the uh, ILS marker, seven, uh, 7 miles out of the runway. Hopefully by 4 DME we're all set and we can hand fly it all the way down. No gusts yet, but it's gonna happen. Runway is not in sight yet. Hoping to clear this thing, get some visual on the runway soon. It's not that the ILS is bad, but uh, visual uh, references always help, especially with winds this crazy. And I do have FS traffic enabled, so another worry that I have is that there might be an airplane on the runway to screw the approach up. Yeah, a lot of low cloud. I'm gonna go flaps full, gear down. Still a lot of low cloud. A lot of rain shafts really nasty weather getting 42 knots a little bit of crosswind component from the left side so you gotta bank into the wind and expect a little bit of right rudder on the landing I'm gonna get the autopilot off soon soon not yet but soon One thousand. It off. Okay, runway in sight, really good. Auto brake medium, landing flap full, all green. Not making too many changes, that's pretty interesting. So, flap lever asymmetry is a bit of a distraction. I think I gotta calibrate those null zones. 500. I might even get rid of the auto throttle, guys. That's, uh, Above. Hardly had to make Minimum. any changes, that's the beauty of Airbus, I guess. Also, the winds aren't... I mean, it's like, it doesn't handle as badly as I expected. 
no extreme changes. So I'm just going to go for a firm touchdown. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 10, 5. Good touchdown, if you ask me. Um, gonna be vacating right. Can get the flaps back up. Hardly any movement on the stick. Flew that really smooth. Uh, not sure what that landing rate was. It wasn't too bad. Might have actually been good. Welcome to Wellington. A beautiful approach all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the side stick cam and the manual auto thrust at the end because of my bad nozzles thank you bye bye